It is another week of waiting for many unemployed Kansans, and it comes with frustration after hearing promises of changes weeks ago from the governor. 41 Action reporter Emma James tells us what problems some Kansans are still running into. Doug Janice tells me it's frustrating to know he's paid so much money in taxes to the state over the years, but now when he's the one who needs some help, the state isn't there for him. You know, if you're not supporting me, then I'll have to leave. Doug Janice tells me he's so fed up with the Department of Labor, he's considering moving. He's worked as a construction manager for 40 years. He says all job opportunities disappeared in March. So I submit, um, uh, uh, claims every week and uh, to date I haven't heard any results and of course I don't see any finances any money coming into our account. He's been waiting on the pandemic unemployment assistance or PUA payments and hasn't received anything. Other claimants tell me things haven't improved since Governor Kelly announced she was taking immediate action at the department. I'm told payments are still late or inaccurate, and some errors have yet to be resolved, like the clawback issue from two weeks ago. I think the worst part is just the lack of information. For Baldwin City resident Kat Hopkinson, she wants to know why she hasn't gotten payments, even though she received a letter saying she was eligible. My concern now is that even if they backfile, that $600 a month is federal money. If that money runs out, I mean, it's not like I'm going to be able to get that money. In Kansas City, Emma James, 41 Action News. 41 Action News reached out to the Kansas Department of Labor about the issues it's facing. We have yet to hear back.